Giant's tubeless tires are a snap to install on tubeless ready wheels. I'm going to show you how it's done, but before you try this, thoroughly read the instruction manuals for installing the rim tape, tires, and sealant for the particular system you're using. The tools you need are tire sealant, the tubeless tires, of course, rim tape, tubeless valves, and a way to inflate the tires with a quick blast of compressed air. The Giant Control Tank Tubeless Inflator is a great tool for this, and it's the one I'll be using for this demonstration. If you've purchased a Giant bicycle that's been specced with tubeless tires, your Giant retailer will have installed the sealant for you. We do recommend that you or your retailer check the sealant and possibly replace it every six to eight months. If you've purchased a tubeless ready Giant wheel system, you should already have nearly everything that you need in the packaging. For instance, in the boxes containing this Giant SLR Zero disc wheel system, you'll find the tubeless valves, Giant specifically designed tubeless tire lever, and a roll of tubeless rim tape. The wheel system will have standard blue rim tape already installed. This is in case you're going to run tubes with the tires. But when you're ready to go tubeless, be sure to remove this blue rim tape. You will also need tubeless tire sealant. Other brand sealants have not been approved for use with our tubeless wheel systems, and their performance is not guaranteed. For Giant tubeless tires, please only use sealant made by Giant or by Stan's No Tubes. Of course, you will need tubeless tires. Giant's Gavia SLR and Gavia SL tubeless tires are found on many advanced SL and advanced pro on-road performance bikes starting with model year 2017. For this demonstration, we'll be installing Gavia SL tires on the SLR wheel system. It's best if the wheels are removed from the bicycle. Installation and cleanup will be much easier. Begin by cleaning and degreasing the rim. A 50% isopropyl alcohol solution is recommended. Start the tubeless rim tape three to five inches on either side of the valve hole and cover the valve hole as you apply the tape evenly along the entire inner rim tire well. You're done when both ends of the tape overlap the valve hole three to five inches. Then cut the tape. This three to five inch rim tape overlap on both sides of the valve hole will ensure that you have a robust seal. Then press the tape into the rim bed all the way around the wheel and visually confirm that it covers the entire tire well of the rim, leaving no exposed spoke holes. Next, pierce a small hole through the tape at the valve hole so the tubeless valve will be able to pass through. Install the tubeless valve into the rim and ensure that the rubber base of the valve is properly aligned in the rim center channel. The valve nut threads down onto the valve on the outside of the rim. It does not need to be more than finger tight. Any tighter and damage can occur to the valve or the rim, making sealing quite difficult. Starting opposite the inflation valve, install the first bead of the tire into the rim center channel. Working your way around the rim, press the remainder of that bead into the rim center channel. Be sure that the beads are placed in the center channel. If any section of the tire remains on the bead seat of the rim at this point, it will be exceptionally difficult to finish tire installation and damage to the tire or rim can occur. When that tire bead is done, starting again opposite the valve, install the other bead into the rim center channel, working towards the valve. If you're having a hard time installing the tire by hand, you can use the specially designed giant tubeless tire lever. Carefully lever the tire bead over the edge of the wheel rim and into the tire well being careful not to damage either the wheel rim or the tire. Before adding tire sealant, inflate the tire until both beads have seated onto the rim. Do not exceed the maximum inflation pressure of the rim or the tire. For this, you can inflate the tire using the control tank tubeless inflator or an air compressor. Using a regular tire pump, charge the control tank inflator to about 140 to 160 PSI. Then attach the control tank pump head to the tubeless tire valve. Extend the inflator hose fully and turn the control tank valve to the left 90 degrees. 
This will fill the tire with air and it will seat onto the rim bead seats. Give the tire and rim edge a check all the way around to make sure the tire is seated properly by visually confirming concentricity of the rim edge and the safety line on the tire. Now, deflate the tire completely. It's time to add the sealant. First, remove the valve core from the valve using the small tool included with the wheel system. Shake the bottle of sealant to ensure that it's completely mixed. Using the nipple on the bottle, add sealant through the now coreless valve. For a Gavia road tire, you'll use about one half of a two ounce bottle. Then, reinstall the tubeless valve core using the included tool. Make sure the valve core is firmly seated within the valve. Then open the valve core. Charge the control tank tubeless inflator again with your floor pump to between 140 and 160 PSI. Attach the control tank pump head to the valve. Extend the hose fully and turn the control tank valve 90 degrees to the left. The tire again should inflate fully. Remove the pump head and close the valve core. It's possible a little sealant will leak along the edge of the rim as it hasn't yet completely covered the inside of the tire. Hold the wheel by the axles in your hands and gently spin the wheel. Shaking the wheels it rotates will spread the sealant throughout the tire and fill any small holes allowing air to escape. Another option, the best option, is to ride the bike for a short period of time, making sure to confirm minimum inflation pressure prior to riding. Let the tire rest for a few minutes to make sure the bead is seated and no air is escaping. Use a regular tire pump to inflate the tire to your desired riding pressure, making sure not to exceed the maximum PSI shown on the tire, nor going below the minimum PSI also shown on the tire. Okay, now it's time to install the wheel system on your bike. You can take a short test ride to let the sealant completely coat the inside of the tires. Check the air pressure and, for best results, let the bike and wheels sit for 24 hours. Check the pressure again before your next ride and before every ride. Very important, save the manuals that came with the tires, the wheels, and the tape. They have important answers to frequently asked questions, including maintenance and troubleshooting tips. And remember, flats happen. Even though these tires are tubeless and far less prone to punctures, Flats sometimes just happen. You should always carry a spare tube with you when you ride. That said, now get out of here, go ride your bike.